Louise Thompson has said she doesn't feel mentally strong enough to carry a child again after suffering major complications following the birth of her son Leo. The former Made in Chelsea star, 34, who has revealed she suffered a hemorrhage after welcoming her first child with fiancé Ryan Libby, was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder following the difficult ordeal. Speaking on Tuesday's episode of Lorraine, Louise recalled how she watched herself almost bleed to death because she wasn't put to sleep with aesthetic while being treated during the emergency situation. The mother of one told how she will be pregnant again as she explained the mental and physical reasons why it won't be possible for her. She said, I will never be mentally strong enough to carry another child. I have Asherman's syndrome where my uterus is glued together. I had a year with no periods. I had surgery to fix that and then I had another hemorrhage. Doctors said we do not want risk doing more surgery in that area. We want you to live. More than two years after the birth of her son, Louise said she feels 95% back to her old self as she admitted. I genuinely feel lucky to come out the other side. Louise said, there was a time I thought I was never going to get to this place. I have lost 12 liters of blood over a couple of years. Prior to this, I had no experience of hospitals. I was the poster girl of health. I want to encourage people to talk more openly about this sort of thing. The fitness influencer endured a rocky pregnancy after she was caught in a house fire just before the arrival of Leo. She said, I was involved in a house fire just before birth. I felt I was not listened to and there was a lot of inconsistencies in my care and I feel I had to jump through hurdles just to get seen. If it was a planned C-section, it could have been avoided. I am percent back to my old self. Louise also touched on her experience with post-traumatic dress disorder and how she and Ryan both suffered from different forms of it. I think the horrific thing was that I was not asleep with my partner in the room. I think that genuinely added to PTSD. I was witnessing myself bleed to death. I wish I was put asleep. It was one of the things I questioned in my birth debrief to try and get some answers. That was very difficult. In the early days, we had no relationship. We had our own versions of PTSD. He would get flashbacks. He is not in the place to start proper therapy yet. He would check on me all night making sure I was not going to die. He would get angry driving past the hospitals. He took Lou for one appointment at the hospital and I thought that was very brave. Following a traumatic health battle, the actress is flourishing into her new self as she looks forward to the upcoming launch of her book Luck. In April, Louise revealed she had a stoma bag fitted after years of suffering from ulcerative colitis following a diagnosis in 2018. In her Instagram story, the star is seen emotionally bursting into tears of joy, writing, I actually cried writing and rereading the caption for that video because I can't believe how far I've bloody come. F it's been a journey. Louise referred to an empowering post she shared earlier in the day about a photo shoot for her book cover, explaining it was her first shoot in four years.